Greetings RC friends, welcome to Props and Wheels. In this episode, I'll be showing you how to bind and set up Radio Master TX16S with a Lemon RX DSMP receiver. So there has been a question from one of our subscribers, how a Lemon RX receiver can be bound and set up on the Radio Master TX16S. So I decided to just get one of those. So here is the one I got. This one is the Lemon RX DSMP 6 channel receiver and this is DSMX and DSM2 compatible like the Spectrums so you would expect that it will work the same way in terms of binding and the product number on this one is LM0021S I will give the link to this receiver in the description section below and by the way I installed this receiver on my new Volantex RCASW28 sailplane that I'm planning to make in tomorrow. Let's start by turning on the transmitter. Long press on the power button a couple seconds and it will greet you. And here on the main screen, you long press this wheel and then model select. On this screen, you long press again, and from the menu, you select Create Model. And this is going to be a plane because it has a motor. You select Plane. And ask again, yes, it has a motor, and it's on channel 3. So I'm going to press Next Page button, this second button from the top. Number of ailerons. So I have two ailerons, but they are connected with a Y cable. I'm going to change this to one or two with Y cable. And that's on channel one. So next page. And yes, my model have, has plaps. I'm going to turn this to yes. And they are on one channel. And then I'm going to go to the next. And I connected this, this one to channel 6, the auxiliary channel, and this one far. So that's channel number 6. Some people do you know, connect to 5, but I did 6. Come to channel 6. And next page. And the configuration of the rudder and elevator is as shown here channel 10, channel 4 respectively. And I don't need to change anything else. Everything looks good here. I'm going to take it to, yes, all is well, create my plane. And return to exit, so this is the return button. And it is model 40. So if we come back again, it's model 40. Now we are going to change the model name and then do the binding process. So long press on this model, MDL. So let's start by changing the name. I'm going to call it ASW28. Okay, name is set up and now we need to turn on the internal RF module, the multi-protocol module, which is all the way down this list, but there is a quick way of jumping down to the bottom of this page, which is go left on the wheel and it will ju jump to the bottom of this page. So just a couple clicks up, internal RF mode off, and then I'm just going to turn it to multi, it's a multi-protocol model. Go to the next, and then this is DSM, and this specific model is DSMX compatible, so I'm going to select DSMX 22 milliseconds, and it's going to probably give me a warning, but I'm just going to put a new receiver number, so that's going to be unique. So it does not conflict with, with any other ex existing receiver numbers. Let's choose 09, receiver number 09. I don't know why. 
and now we are ready to bind but before we can do that we need to put the bind plug so I'm going to plug in the bind plug to this first pin this is for binding and then I'm going to connect the battery which is already in the battery compartment and once I do that you're going to see that there's going to be a light blinking fast showing that it's in the bind mode so it's blinking fast and it's recommended that we take the transmitter like two meters away and I'm going to just move back a little bit and so once I'm back I'm just going to press that wheel and that's going to initiate the binding process so here we go press it, it says it's binding and stop blinking, it's slowly blinking and once it turns solid it is bound so I don't have everything connected but you can see from the rudder and elevator they are bound and now what I'm going to do is stop the video for a second put one of the wings on so you can see the ailerons and flaps as well so here I connect the left wing I use some extension cables to be able to connect while the wing is off so I can show you what I did so they are they are connected to the flap and aileron channels by the way what I'm going to do now is it's a good habit don't leave the bind plug on it so I'm going to pull it off actually I'm going to turn it off and then pull the bind plug out and also cycle the radio once just in case So the bind plug is out and this is already all set so I'm going to do you know, press return and return again ASW28 I'm going to turn it off saved everything turn it back on probably this is not necessary but I'm just being super careful and cautious about this so the same model is selected already I'm going to connect the battery and it should auto immediately come solid light and all good so let's check the controls so rudder right rudder left rudder turning the correct direction up elevator down elevator that's correct as well nothing to reverse there and now let's try the aileron so right aileron and this this when I give right aileron this should go down right aileron should come up and then left aileron should go down so aileron is reverse do you see so left aileron this should come up and it's going down so I need to take care of that and also flaps I use it automatically assigned the SA switch so it goes I prefer you know going all the way up when I want to put the flaps in up position and then bring them down like this so this needs to reverse as well so aileron and the flaps channel need to be reversed now I'm going to show you that so reverse the, these channels two channels long press on MDL and then using the next page this button I'm going to go and you can see in the mixes the flaps are on channel 6 outputs and channel 1 is the aileron if you are not sure the way to check it is just move the aileron controls and you see that little arrow in the middle moving right and left so I'm going to select that to press on this menu wheel and then go to the right all the way here and it says direction and a long press and it's reversed now let's double check so here is our aileron over here and when I go left it goes it needs to go up so this is we're definitely working and I'm going to do the same thing to the flaps and that's channel 6 so return come here go down channel 6 select it 
go down to direction and and as you see it came down and that's what I wanted because the SA switch all the way down and I want to move it up so three positions working perfectly all right it's all good and set up to just come out of here you just press return 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 and you'll be in the main screen and ready to go and this is all for today if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section if you have any other suggestions for me to check other receivers please let me know thank you very much for watching i hope you are enjoying your flying whatever it is airplane helicopter or drone hope to see you again on our channel in the next video take care bye bye